Hey everybody, welcome back to Thoughtful Thursdays and today's devotion, also a happy Thanksgiving. Today's devotion is entitled Uprooted. Sorry, I'm trying to get it to focus. There we go. So the verse is Job 42.10. After Job had prayed for his friends, the Lord restored his fortunes and gave him twice as much as he had before. The tall, strong tree growing along the riverbanks looks sturdy. We imagine the roots spreading out, giving a firm foundation. It looks like the tree will remain standing for many years to come. Then a fast snow melt or a heavy rain leads to a flood. The bank is undercut and the tree falls into the water and washes downstream. It may get wedged against the bank and form a bridge or log jam, or just a small diversion of the stream. Fish and other aquatic uh, creatures enjoy the shade and the quiet pool that is formed. If the tree is carried all the way to the mouth of the river where it empties into a lake or the ocean, it may float for a long time before washing up on the shore and becoming driftwood. Many artists prize this washed wood. The bark and most of the limbs have usually been beaten off during the journey, and the log may have been naturally sanded into strange shapes. The wood can be used in a fire pit on the beach where friends and family can enjoy cooking, warmth, and fellowship. Other drift Driftwood protects a portion of the beach, gives shore birds a place to perch, or simply adds beauty to the scene. We too can find that our life, which seems stable and strong, may suddenly be uprooted. We may have to leave our fam familiar, comfortable surroundings and be thrust into uncertainty. Perhaps we end up far away from where we thought we were putting down roots. Life has changed. While we sometimes have no control over events in our life, we can usually choose how to respond to them. We have the option of looking for ways to grow and improve. Although the trials and the turmoil are real and may be sorrowful, the restoration can be joyful. Eventually, like Job, we may find ourselves doing even better than before. When we look back later, we may be amazed and grateful to see how God used the upheaval on our journey for his glory and for his good. Lord, sometimes life overwhelms me. Thank you that you are always there. May I always be compliant toward you and looking for your blessing. Isn't that really kind of how life feels a lot of times? Like we're just driftwood, drifting along, waiting to see what's happening next. But if our roots are firmly planted in the place it needs to be, our Lord, we can be assured that we will come out on the better side maybe not the way we think maybe not in our timing but if we hold true to the one that holds it all we don't need to worry we can just go with the flow and like the word says you know this day has enough to worry about on its own we need not worry about the past or the future so I hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving. It's a nice day today, 55. And um, my turkey's already in the oven. My pie and cranberry sauce and deviled eggs were made last night. So I've got a jump start and we'll be eating a little bit. And I'll be taking the lady a plate that I had asked prayer for before she's in pain again. So um, I hope you guys continue to look forward, keep your heads up, and have a blessed weekend. Bye guys. Love you.